today's video will be slightly different than my normal guides. This will be a direct, side-by-side -side comparison between the Adaptive Blade and the Hyper Axe. A few of my guild members told me about the Hyper Axe being very powerful and rivaling the Adaptive Blade, and today we will find out which weapon is truly better. I will be first giving an overview on each weapon's stats and the abilities. Then I will be doing a direct side-by-side -side comparison of a Floor 3 run. I try to keep each sword as close to the same as possible while also making sure you get the best out of each sword. If you enjoy my content, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for good luck. Check the description for all the goods, and join my Discord to stay up to date with the community. We just hit 160 members, which is fantastic. Anyways, let's dive into the video. On the left, we have the Hyper Cleaver, and the right, an Adaptive Blade. Both are reforged to Fabled, and regular Hot Potato books have been applied. One thing to note is the Adaptive Blade doesn't have crit 6, so for the sake of this comparison, we will pretend it does. Starting off with weapon damage, the Adaptive Blade has 30 more raw weapon damage. This is important because weapon damage is the biggest factor determining damage. One damage is equal to much more than one strength or crit damage. However, the Hyper Cleaver has 50 more strength than the Adaptive Blade, lessening the gap between these two. Both have 92 crit damage, assuming we add crit 6 for the Adaptive Blade. Overall, the stats are very similar to these two swords. I would say the Adaptive Blade will deal more damage per swing than the Hyper Cleaver, but the abilities are where things get spicy. The Adaptive Blade allows you to use your class right-click ability without switching to the Dungeon Orb. This is good because you will gain much better use of your class for less effort. In addition to that, the Adaptive Blade will gain extra stats depending on which class you choose. This will definitely make sure the Adaptive Blade has a higher damage per hit. The Hyper Cleaver has a unique ability similar to the Cleave Enchant where every monster in a 4 block range will take damage when striking a foe. This is much stronger of a hit than the Cleave Enchant, and what makes the sword really shine. Now that we have a good idea on weapons raw stats, let's see how they do against a floor 3 in a side-by-side -side comparison. I've never actually done a side-by-side -side comparison video with post commentary before, so this is unscripted, so if it doesn't sound as professional or <laughs> something like that as everything else on my channel, that's probably why, but I honestly could not figure out how to script this since so much is going on at once, so I'm really just going to take the next 4 to 5 minutes to talk about what's going on and who should use this new Hyper Cleaver and is it really better than the Adaptive Blade. So first of all, as you can see, the Hyper Cleaver is much, much better at taking out waves of mobs compared to single target creatures. Now, you did see on the bottom right there a Shadow Assassin popped up and we were able to deal with it very, very quickly. And the same goes for the Shadow Assassin on the top left. I made sure to try and include uh, the same kind of mobs so you could get the best comparison for yourself. And the Adaptive Blade is actually having a little bit of trouble with the Shadow Assassin. And the reason for this is because the Adaptive Blade doesn't get to attack other monsters, meaning if a skeleton or something starts shooting at you while you're attacking the Shadow Assassin, it's going to be a lot harder to hit the Shadow Assassin compared to the Hyper Cleaver, which instantly kills the skeleton while you're fighting it. Now that we're in the Blood Room, this is the most obvious part right here where you're going to see just how absolutely crazy this Hyper Cleaver is. I'm able to take out all of the mobs that I've stored up in the Blood Room in just a matter of seconds here while the Adaptive Blade is pretty much fighting for its life against these things. Usually you would have a mage go and um, attack the Blood Room by themselves since they have AoE damage, and this is why. Single target attacking in the Blood Room is really, really not that useful compared to something like the Hyper Cleaver, which is doing cleave damage to all the mobs around. Now, once you see when there was one mob left for the Hyper Cleaver to take out, it was having a little bit of trouble, but it wasn't anything too bad because it's just one monster. You're not really going to die to it. Now, the Adaptive Blade is actually still trying to take out the Blood Room, even though the Hyper Cleaver finished it like almost a minute ago or something crazy. So, honestly, I'm just going to say the Hyper Cleaver is a much better weapon. Now, what classes should be using the Hyper Cleaver? Well, all of them. There really is no reason to not have a Hyper Cleaver, even for a mage. Mages have that left click ability where it shoots a beam out and that's how they get the majority of their mana back. And the Hyper Cleaver is an excellent choice for a mage to use with that beam because they have a ranged melee attack. I know that sounds really weird, but it's true. Now for the last bit here, we're going to be fighting the boss. Now the Adaptive Blade does take a lot longer to end up killing the entire professor, but that's not necessarily because the Adaptive Blade is bad, it's just how our team was set up and um, you can see that the Hyper Cleaver just shreds through these Guardians like they're absolutely nothing. It seems like I'm attacking them a lot faster than the Adaptive Blade is landing hits on them. <laughs> right here, I get a little bit mad at uh, 
my teammate for charging into the chaos pillar because we were actually at an S plus rank and then he, you know, decided I'm going to go straight to the chaos guardian and melee him with my sword and he died. And I think I actually end up dying here too because I just get mad and I run at it too, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But right now, if you look at the hypercleaver screen on the bottom right, you can see me absolutely just comboing the professor into oblivion. He really stands no chance, and eventually one of my teammates actually asks me what sword I'm using because it's so crazy. And the hypercleaver- yeah, there you see, I just died. The hypercleaver is performing much better against the bosses than the adaptive blade is doing, because usually I'd be able to run through and just kind of defeat the chaos guardian, or defeat all of the other guardians by myself while someone takes care of the chaos guardian, but since they buffed uh, the floor 3 boss and makes it so the guardians respawn faster, if you don't have teammates that know what they're doing, this boss can actually be pretty tricky. Now if you saw the uh, the hypercleaver right there, I just I killed the professor in 2 seconds, it was not even funny, it was just, he died almost instantly. And really that's it, so what I would recommend that everyone does right now is go ahead and sell your adaptive blade. I've been praising this sword for a few weeks now, but unfortunately it looks like the meta changes once again and you know that happens. If you know any other changes to the meta that I am not aware of, leave them in my comments. I usually make a pinned comment uh, updating my videos if something does end up being inaccurate because I always want people to have the best knowledge and the newest knowledge for dungeons because obviously that's that's the right thing to do. If you, you find something wrong in your video, you gotta correct it. So go ahead, just sell your adaptive blade and pick yourself up a hypercleaver. It's 800,000 coins. Oh, if you look on the bottom right, I actually just got him adaptive chest plate, which is crazy. It's like one of the best things for profit in dungeons right now, but uh, enough getting sidetracked. Everyone, every single class should use the hypercleaver. Uh, I guess archer would probably have the least use for it, but sometimes you get that archer that likes to melee mobs. So if you're that person, you know what to do with the hypercleaver. All right. But really that's just about it. It's 800,000 coins from the Ophelia NPC. You have to have floor four to purchase it and it's gold essence to upgrade it. And it is better than the Adaptive Blade. <laughs> Alright. That's just about it for this video. I know it was much different than my usual guides, but I hope you found it useful. If you did, I'll ask one last time for you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I try to get a unique guide video out every single day, and I stream sometimes too. So click the bell for notifications across my channel. And thanks again for watching. Take care.